good evening all welcome to this new session we will try to see science in radiology set 6 so coming to the first case uh, here you can see there is white matter hyperintense lesion typically noted located in the cerebellum which mimics the shrimp so what is this shrimp or mri shrimp sign so this mri shrimp sign is classically seen as a marker of cerebellar progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy where there will be t2 oblique flare hyperintensity in the cerebellar white matter which is abutting the abutting the dentate nucleus but sparing the dentate nucleus so what are the different parts of this shrimp are nothing but this dentate nucleus which is outlining the belly of the shrimp whereas the broader area of involvement uh, the, in the middle cerebellar peduncle corresponds to the head of the shrimp whereas the na medial narrower area of the involvement in the medial cerebellar white matter corresponding to the tail of the shrimp so here also you can see this is the head of the shrimp this is the body of the shrimp and this is the tail of the shrimp so this is that uh, typical mri shrimp sign seen in cerebellar progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy next uh, next sign is low lying down adrenal sign here you can see this is the adrenal is normally placed high upwards above the level of the kidney but here you can see this is the lying down adrenal sign and here also you can see both the renal fours are empty and here these are the bilateral lying down adrenal signs adrenal glands so this lying down adrenal gland sign is often seen in the absence of kidney in the renal fossa and it may be due to renal agenesis renal ectopia or horseshoe kidney in this case this was you can see these are the bilateral pelvic kidneys so remember lying down adrenal sign as one of the sign for uh, renal anomalies and definitely check for uh, empty renal fossa and also see for ectopic location of the kidneys thanks to dr sarita ja for contributing this case next hairy kidney sign hairy kidney sign is nothing but there will be uh, soft tissue ring of uh, ring of perirenal infiltration or this is the soft tissue ring of perirenal in, perirenal infiltration seen on cross sectional studies typically in this is pathognomonic of erdheim chester's disease so this hairy description refers to thickening of the bridging perirenal septa or conin septa which are bands of fibrous tissue that extend between the renal capsule and the perirenal fascia so i have depicted this in the graphics representation here these are the hairy hairy kidney sign or hairy kidney appearance and there also this is a massive massive perirenal involvement of the perirenal involvement in case of erdheim chester's disease and increase uptake on pet ct scan so this is hairy kidney sign and remember it is pathognomonic of erdheim chester disease next what is morning glory disc appearance or sign here you can see this is ultrasound of left eye where you can see band like ecogenesty extending to the defect in the retina and here on the mr you can typically see the funnel shaped excav funnel shaped excavation of the posterior fundus so this is funnel shaped excavation of the posterior fundus which mimics the morning glory disc so morning glory disc anomaly is frequently associated with midline abnormalities of brain and skull and morning glory disc anomaly is characterized by enlarged here you can see this is the enlarged funnel shaped excavation of the optic disc with peripapillary chorioretinal pigmentary changes and overlying central white glial tuft the vessels which radiating which radiate radially oriented resembling the petals of the morning glory flower so remember this is the morning glory flower or morning glory disc appearance or sign uh, which is one of the anomaly of the eye next what is hanging nose sign hanging nose sign is nothing but its obstetric imaging is rarely described but is classical finding of true umbilical knot so this is nothing but it depends a transfer section of the umbilical cord which is surrounded by one of its loop so this is whenever the transfer section of the umbilical cord is surrounded by one of its loop which resembles the hanging nose uh, so this is that hanging nose sign classically seen in true umbilical cord knot and other signs you can remember are this is the cyclone sign and this is the loop sign so this is the loop sign and this is the cyclone sign which can be also seen in true umbilical cord knot so whenever you see this uh, true uh, hanging nose sign the changes in the pressure of the knot can be demonstrated with a fetal movements on 4d scan next what is fountain sign fountain sign is classically seen in acute idiopathic scrotal edema here you can see there is diffuse thickening of the scrotal wall and there on color doppler you can see there is bilateral symmetrical hypervascularity of the thickened scrotal wall which makes the fountain so this is bilaterally bilateral symmetrically hyperemia noted in the thickened scrotal wall seen in acute idiopathic scrotal edema which makes the fountain that is water flowing out of the fountain so this is that fountain i have depicted so this fountain sign is sonographic sign described in acute idiopathic scrotal edema which this can be also sign can be used uh, in other acute scrotal pains like epidural marcatis testicular torsion where this sign may not be seen 
and what is the chasing the dragon so we will try to see some history of chasing the dragon chasing the dragon was used was the term which was originated in china and hong kong where the heroin was used the heroin was uh, heated on a aluminum foil and the fumes which come out of the aluminum uh, heroin mimics the dragon the smoke which coming so coming out of the uh, heroin is mimics the dragon and which is used to be inhaled by straws so here also in the imaging wise you can see whenever there will be symmetrical involvement of the bilateral optic radiation postal limb of internal capsule even optic radiations even extending into the paratoxpital lobes and also there can be also involvement of the pontine corticospinal tracts bilateral corticospinal tracts and even in the periventricular deep white matter or periroloandic periroloandic subcortical white matter here also you can see there is symmetrical involvement of the po postural limbus of bilateral internal capsules and also in the optic radiations so these hyper intensities even mimic the dragons so i have given this as a graphic depiction where you can see these are the two dragons which are trying to fight each other or chase the dragging appearance so this chase chase the dragging appearance can be also seen in uh, heroin associated spongiform leukencephalopathy so remember chase the chasing the dragon sign or appearance is classically seen in heroin associated spongiform leukencephalopathy but it is not pathognomonic it can be also seen in other toxic leukencephalopathies thank you all